in one corner, you have got Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and the richest man in modern history. In the other corner, you've got David Pecker, the head of American media and the National Enquirer, who is also a close friend for decades of, you guessed it, President Trump. In the middle, you've got threats of blackmail, extortion, and hints that the whole thing was very politically motivated. I have a great team here to break all of it down, but first, I must explain what this is all about. It started last month when the National Enquirer published a huge front page story about Bezos' love affair with a former TV anchor named Lauren Sanchez. The Enquirer called it the biggest investigation in its history, publishing photos of the two as well as private text messages. Bezos responded by launching his own investigation to find out how the tabloid and its parent company, AMI, AMI got its hands on those very text messages. And that's where the story gets crazy. In an extraordinary post Bezos published on Medium, he says that when word got out about the investigation back to AMI chairman David Pecker, Pecker was furious. And just a few days later, Bezos says AMI approached him with an offer. They told him they did not just have his text, they also had explicit sexual photos of Bezos and Sanchez. AMI said they would publish those photos if Bezos did not meet their demands. If you said that sounds like extortion and blackmail, you're not alone. But instead of backing down, the Amazon CEO did something very surprising. He called their bluff. Bezos explained, quote, of course I don't want personal photos published but I also won't participate in their well-known practice of blackmail, political favors, political attacks, and corruption. I prefer to stand up, roll this log over, and see what crawls out. Whew. That's some hot fire right there. So Bezos released emails he says he and his legal team exchanged with American media to show the, quote, precise details of their proposal. NBC has not independently reviewed these emails, but they appear to show AMI describing what they had and what they wanted. Number one, they wanted Bezos to stop his investigation, but that's not all. In an email addressed from AMI's Deputy General Counsel, John Fine, the company also demanded, quote, a public, mutually agreed upon acknowledgement from the Bezos parties released through a mutually agreeable news outlet affirming they have no knowledge or basis for suggesting that American media's coverage was politically motivated or influenced by political forces and an agreement that they will cease referring to such possibility in the future. That's a wow. Bezos says he would not make that public statement because he says it would be a lie. We should note that we reached out to American media, but a spokesman declined to comment. While AMI has denied that it is reporting, that its reporting is influenced by politics, we know the National Enquirer has a long history of publishing stories beneficial to President Trump. And we know that CEO David Pecker and the president have been friends for years, as has Jared Kushner and David Pecker. We also know that President Trump is no fan of Bezos and has repeatedly criticized the Washington Post which Bezos bought six years ago. We have no evidence that the president was involved in any of this, but it's certainly raising a whole lot of questions. As for Bezos, many are giving him serious credit for standing up to AMI's threats, even at the risk of his own personal humiliation. As the CEO wrote on Thursday, quote, if I can't stand up to this kind of extortion, how many people can? Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.